Well, next topic is uh, the mammary glands and the production of uh, milk. In case of uh, um, example, ke pe human le rahe hain. So the mammary glands, they are in fact, they are modified sweat gland. They are modified sweat gland. So mammary glands produce and secrete milk. These are two different processes. Production of milk and then the secretion of milk. Now they contain varying amounts of adipose tissue. So the amount of adipose tissue in fact determines the size of the breasts. But the amount of mammary tissue does not vary widely from one woman to another. So this means that the adipose tissue ki se, ye the size of uh, the mammary glands depends. Now the basic components of the mammary gland are the alveoli, which are hollow cavities, a few millimeter, millimeter that is large, lined with milk secreting cuboidal cells. This is what we see in the diagram. Now these alveoli that join up to form groups known as the lobules, and each lobule has a lactiferous duct that drains into the opening in the nipple. So, ye, ye, uh, production of milk or duct ke zariye, then it moves up to the point at the tip of uh, the at the tip of the nipple uh, from which uh, milk is, oozes out. So the structurally we can see that is this is the lateral view in to showing internal structure whereas this uh, is the front view. So the uh, uh, let's say okay, we started from here that uh, fat tissue hai or uh, lekin jo inside jo uh, lactating uh, jo structure hai or tissue hai wo takriban wo all that is uh, that doesn't vary too much or iske baad these are the alveoli these are the alveoli or uh, these alveoli they are grouping together to form uh, the lobules ye lobules hai iske andar jise hum dekh sakte hain jaise ye hai ye hai these are all lobules or in dusre lafzon mein in lobules ke andar there is a tissue which in fact that uh, that forms uh, the milk aur uh, iske baad phir uh, ye jo lactiferous uh, ducts aa jati hain aur in lactiferous ducts jo hain ye phir very close to the outside or the nipple there are present uh, the lactiferous sinuses jahan pe milk vakti taur pe ye ikattha ho jata hai it is then collected and then it comes out of the nipple by the suckling of the child now the the lobules ko humne uh, diagrammatically dekha hai aur ye ek uh, there are many lobules which are grouped together to form uh, uh, to there are many lobules jo ke ek uh, bilkul yun samjhe jaisa ki anguron ka guchha hai wo lobules hai और इसके अंदर फिर ये बहुत सारे ये लोब्यूल्स जो हैं दे मेक 15 टू 20 लोब्स जो कि पूरी मेमोरी ग्लैंड्स के अंदर देयर आर 15 टू 20 लोब्स तो अगर हम इसको रिवर्स चले तो देयर आर देयर आर लोब्स देन दे आर कंपोज्ड ऑफ दे इनटू द लोब्यूल्स लोब्यूल्स दे आर दे आर दे आर कन्वर्टेड इनटू द इनटू द जिसके मिल्क forming tissue, lactiferous tissue hai, or wo phir lactiferous duct ke hai, then it comes out of the body. So this is, uh, this, these are the structure and the production of milk, or your production of milk in particular, that is under the control of the hormone, or ye aam taur pe, ye, it always, the production of milk takes place after the birth of uh, the child. So is se bhi ek, uh, hormonically, there is an attachment of uh, these of the uh, the uh, milk production and then milk ejection so this is all about the mammary glands